Hey guys, Birdman 316 here. This one goes out to our Save Duke. Me and Duke did a deal. He ended up with a T Max and some money, and I ended up with this. This is the Team Associated. I want to say the rat rod, swamp rat, whatever it's called, some kind of rat. Let's take a look at the back. The back of it will tell us what it is. Okay. Trophy rat. I knew it was some kind of rat. You dirty rat. <laughs> but, um, my intentions on this truck is to probably convert it into a bracket style drag truck of course i'll be changing the front wheels over to the dr10 wheels i might change over to the smaller a arms i'd like to see how it looks first before i go changing things too drastically on this thing you know as far as this thing sitting now it's all stock only a couple minor mods have been done. Here's the radio. Now my DR10 has a radio identical to this. So how do I tell them apart? Well, that's easy. That's easy. Look in the battery bay. R-A-T. What does that spell? George, right? That spells rat. So this tells me this one goes to the trophy rat. I even found some dirty, dingy, yucky clips to go on the back. These clips are dirty and dingy. But the front ones, I figure I want some smaller ones up front. So I found some black clips I have from some kind of kit somewhere, some time ago, something like that. But overall, it looks like a, a nice, dingy, ratty looking truck. Let's get these body clips off here. One by one, inch by inch, the body clips came off. There we go. Body clips are off. There's the antenna. Itty bitty antenna rod poking up through the bed of the truck. Now this one, if you'll notice on the back, I'm sure you've seen all the reviews. This thing has lights on the back and in the front. I'll show you underneath the body here. It's got your lights, cables. Oh, there we go. Let go there. It's got all your cables and whatnot under here, like that. If you notice something was hanging down, it was one of these, which is with this one right here. Now I just, I'm just gonna test this out a little bit sometime in the near future. What I'll probably do is I'll probably move this wire down in this clip just a little bit so it won't be hanging out and dragging the ground when I'm trying to, to check the truck out and stuff. There's the body right there. It's probably, I bet these bodies probably go for, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks, something like that, pre-painted replacement body. But here's a chassis underneath. I think this thing is actually based off of the SC10. It's a team associated model. It's got your the controller. This is the brushless version. Got the famous blue shocks on here. It's got two battery straps in there. And there's something on the body I didn't show you, but I will show you shortly. I have not done with anything, anything with the oil. I have not changed any positions on the shocks or anything. I just swapped some spacers, preload spacers around this a little bit, just to stiffen up the back end, just to hunt in this a little bit, a little bit uh, too saggy, if you will. There's an antenna rod I was telling you about. The first chance I get, I'm gonna test this thing out over there at work. It's got like a little, like a little jump, not not a big jump. I can put, I can set up a camera and have on the hat cam too. 
and just do a little testing. I did have to ream these holes out just a little bit on these body posts. I've, they're very small. The stock ones are very small. I think I got these wallered out to... Oh, I forget which size. But it's about a couple couple sizes up from what these are, were. See, normally I put rubber inner tube parts on here to prevent any damage to the inside of the body and it saves your paint and plus it prevents rattling but under the circumstances I couldn't do such on this truck because this post was is a little short and it was not exposing the clip hole so I had to do away with those inner tube pieces but on this body I did however Put this threaded packaging tape that's better than nothing at all that way nothing can rub where is the hole there it is there it is all right got your two up front too and then the same way so this body is protected a lot more than it ever was so to prevent any issues going on now if I do decide to keep this as a drag truck it's going to have the DR10 wheels and tires on it but I will determine in the future do I want to change the A arms and do something with these tie rods because the tie rod ends are pretty long I could probably get away with keeping these tie rods, but I'll have to change the ends to probably Traxxas short ends. Then the two on the back here is a four up front. You got your toe in and your camera adjustments there. All four of those have to be modified for shorter A arms. I believe this truck does come with all bearings in it. I did turn off the gyro. The, the what do you call it, the driver assist gyro, I turn that off because in any kind of drag racing, whether it be bracket, no prep, heads up, whatever, it is not legal for any assistance. It's all you. It's all the driver. No assistance of any kind. I'm surprised it won't make you change radio. As long as you can prove that the gyro is off, I guess I'll let you slide. And plus in drag racing, you have to just dial out almost all your steering. Because you don't need, to go straight, you don't need to be steering other than minor corrections of drift or whatever like that. And this is, is going to be a bracket truck. It's going to look very interesting. I'll try it out with just only swapping over the wheels and tires. And plus I probably need to take these shocks and dump this water out of the shocks. Well, the stock oil they put in there, I might as well call it water. Because it's so thin, you know. Let me check its front end out. Check it out. It bounces back pretty quickly. I like a little bit of slow delay. And the back end is basically the same way. But, like I said, I'm going to test this. As it is, I'm just going to put a charge lipo in there, 2S. And we'll see what happens. Well, guys, enough of my jabber drawing. This is Birdman 316. I want everyone to have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are. Sayonara.